Hello everyone, welcome to another video discussion. In this video we're gonna talk about a recent purchase that I made, which is uh, the Hori uh, Okta Pad. I talked about this uh, pad in a previous video, I wanted to give it a try because uh, I was having issues with the uh, PS5 pad, specifically with, um, with the triggers, right? Uh, I explained how the triggers were becoming a problem for me, especially when it comes to throw breaks, right? So I decided to buy it, uh, buy this controller and give it a try. Now, I had this controller for a couple of days, so I'm still getting used to it. It definitely has a different uh, uh, shape than uh, the PS5 controller, so it's a little bit... You know, it, it feels weird in your hands at first. You need to get comfortable with it. Even though it might sound weird because it, it, it's a pad, just like the PS5 pad. But, you know, you need to get accustomed to the to the specific form of this controller. I had this problem when I switched from the PS4 controller to the PS5 controller. So, um, nothing, nothing weird about it. And um, uh, let's jump into the game. And... Um, the first thing I want to talk about this pad, uh, I would say, is the um, uh, the, the, the D-pad, right? Can you see it? Yeah. Uh, the D-pad. Now, as you can see, the D-pad is a little bit different from uh, the PS5. Uh, the PS5 D-pad, as you can see. Because um, in, in terms of uh, shape, it really reminds me a little bit of the um, Xbox uh, D-pad. It has this... Uh, circle that encompass the whole d-pad right and i wasn't really sure about this uh but uh, i actually kind of like it uh, a little i actually like it uh it makes uh korean backdashing a little bit easier than on um on the ps5 pad because it gives a little bit of, of more grip when you have to uh, hold down forward down back it gives you a little bit more of grip because of the um, of this circle, right? You press the... You have a physical um, input, almost. It's not a physical input, but you have something physical to press. And you don't just press uh, both the down uh, arrow and the forward, or the, the back arrow, together. You actually have a, a physical place to to rest your, your finger to, to get the, um, the diagonal. So I actually like it. Uh, although I noticed that it is a bit inconsistent when it comes to portable forward motions. Maybe I just need to get used to it. Maybe it just has a different um, uh, sensitivity to this kind of motion. Maybe I just need to, need to get used to it. I just dropped a couple of um, portable forward 1, portable forward 2 uh, in some situations. Uh, and also the running too, it's a bit weird uh, compared to the PS5 um, controller, but maybe it's just, uh, I just need to get accustomed to, to the new D-pad. It definitely has a different form, uh, uh, a different shape, and so maybe I just need to get accustomed to it. But for now, I kind of like the D-pad. Uh, I, I thought it was going to be terrible because it has the same shape as the Xbox uh, 360. Uh, D-pad, but no, it's pretty fine. Uh, and it make it, it def I definitely noticed that my Korean backdash is a little bit easier to do. Like Korean backdashing is a little bit easier to do. Um, then let's talk about the front buttons, right? The front buttons. As you can see, this pad has uh, six front buttons, just like. Uh, some old, uh, I think it is, it was the Sega, uh, the Master System, I think, no, no, it was the, um, the Mega Drive, I think it was the Mega Drive, uh, six front buttons, right, um, now, the buttons are, are definitely bigger than, uh, the PS5, uh, pad, I don't, I don't think you can notice this, even if I put, um, uh, Wait, no, you you can't you can't see it. I don't think you can see it, but I promise you, uh, the buttons on the Holy are way bigger than uh, the buttons on the PS5 pad. 
And this is actually useful if you like to play in claw, like this. Uh, it's, it's hard to... Like, if you like to play like this, this is actually useful because the, the buttons are much bigger uh, and it's easier to press them. Um, I can even use my thumb to press the free sometimes. It's still not as comfortable as an arcade stick, but it's definitely better than, um, than a PS5 pad. It's definitely more doable. So, if you like to play in claw, I would say it is, uh, it is a good pad. The buttons are clicky. I don't know if you can hear this. No, I don't know if you can hear this because I have the mm, noise suppressor activated, but they're clicky. They're basically like uh, the mouse. They, the, they, they will sound like a mouse click. Uh, I don't know if I... I, I don't necessarily love it, personally, but uh, it's just the way that the, the controller is designed. Um, one thing, though, is that, that I'm noticing is that if you like to play on this controller like I do with by using your thumb, you know, instead of playing like this, you need to get accustomed to this layout, which is not easy uh, because uh, uh, the front buttons are positioned a little bit more like in a different position from the PS5 pad. On the PS5 pad, the front buttons are like this one. Are, are here, here, in this position here, while on this controller they're a little bit um, towards the bottom, right? So it happens that because of muscle memory sometimes you want to press triangle and you try to find the, the, the button on top. So you, instead of pressing this, uh, wait, instead of pressing triangle here, you will press this one because it's the um, highest button on, uh, on, uh, on, uh, on the controller, right? Uh, because it, it, this is how it is on the PS5 uh, controller. Triangle is the highest button. Um, and X is the lowest button. It's, it's like you need to get accustomed to this new layout. Uh, I, I still struggle sometimes. Uh, uh, sometimes I still try. I, I still press the R R1 and R2 buttons instead of the front buttons. Triangle, square, X, and circle. Uh, so, you know, you need to get accustomed to it. Um, sometimes it happens that uh, uh, it just happens that I position my my finger instead than positioning it here. I position it here because. Uh, it's just where it should be, right? Just like the um, the PS5 pad, uh, the front buttons are here, not here. So uh, it might sound stupid, but I promise you, this will. You need to get accustomed to it. Um, and then, uh, uh, lastly, I want to talk about um, the um, the triggers, right? Which are not triggers in this controller; they are just regular buttons, right? And I explained uh, in my previous video how I needed a controller with uh, regular buttons instead of triggers, and that is because uh, I needed for throw break, throw breaking, right? Uh, and uh, because I have mapped on the pad the two plus three button here, which I use for as a two break, and then I press both square and this together. To, um, to get 1 plus 2. Now, uh, this controller is definitely better than the PS5 uh, controller when it comes to throw breaking. Uh, is definitely more... Um, is definitely more consistent in doing that. Uh, in press definitely the 1 plus 2. It's much more consistent. Uh, still not as comfortable as a um, not as comfortable as an arcade stick, but there is no way you can there is nothing you can do. Uh, the arcade stick is always is gonna be always the best, or not necessarily the arcade stick, even a mix box, even a keyboard, any kind of device where you can have both your index and middle finger on uh, on the one and on the two break. Uh, any kind of device, even a pad. If you play in claw. 
this is, this is amazing. I personally can't do it because even though um, uh, the front buttons are bigger, it's still not as comfortable as, a, as an arcade stick. Maybe I'll give it a try, but it's still not still not as, as comfortable personally. Uh, lastly, let's talk about the how the controller feels. The controller definitely feels very light and cheap at the same time. It doesn't feel very sturdy. Uh, so I would be very, very cautious with this uh, controller. Don't drop it, because I think that it's going to break very, very easily. Uh, and that's probably the only problem with this controller. I still don't know if it actually breaks uh, easily. I will, you know, I will tell you maybe in a couple of months uh, if this controller is still alive. Some people complained that this is uh, a pre pretty fragile controller. Uh, I still don't know if that's true. Definitely Chikurin won uh, Evo, so it, it has to be, you know, it needs to have some sort of durability to, to win a tournament with it, right? So we'll see. Maybe write a comment uh, in a couple of months and I will uh, answer you. Uh, but um, um, yeah, that's all I wanted to say. So thank you so much for watching and take care.